myself uh, Indumati from IIT Madras. I am the subject expert for solid waste management and sanitation in the Unnat Bharat Abhiyan program. Uh, I am here to give you some suggestions uh, when you are applying for solid waste management proposals under Unnat Bharat Abhiyan. Um, so from the review of different applications which have come over the last six months, uh, we noticed certain gaps. Um, so we would like to share that with you and also help you uh, write better proposals. So one uh, thing we observed is the village solid waste management status has not been studied uh, very effectively by the participating institutes during the village survey program also. So it is mandatory that you should make an assessment of the solid waste management status of the village which, which includes the organic waste like food waste, plastic waste, sanitary waste and also the agri waste. And uh, you should have a discussion with the panchayat president and the leaders of the community and uh, the local uh, block development officer to understand what is the immediate need for the village and develop the proposal based on their need so that there will be a better support from the community. Uh, once you assess the need, you have to go ahead and make a plan and uh, prepare a budget not only for the infrastructure but also for the operation and maintenance of the systems in the long term. Uh, the best way to go about doing uh, planning for the operation and the maintenance is to tie up with a local NGO or train uh, the people in the village to operate the plant effectively. It will be ideal if there is some income generation from your uh, system like uh, selling the compost which will help sustain the operation and maintenance cost. There are certain technologies which are, uh, require a large funding, just like biogas plant is much beyond the funding which uh, UBA is giving the participating institute. In such cases, it is better to uh, approach uh, the panchayat for funding, government fundings. Uh, the NIRD uh, website has a list of all the different government schemes which you can tap into. Uh, and the panchayat can apply for those fundings and we can pool the resources and put the system in place. Uh, the other uh, way of dealing with uh, large funding project is uh, have a cluster village concept. Okay, so in this case we need multiple PIs coming together and adopting villages which are close by. And then we can have a centrally located facility for all the three or four villages. That way, the funding from for all the from the four PIs, participating institute funds, will be pooled together, and we can have a much larger system catering to all the villages. Um, so I think these are some broad guidelines uh, I wanted to give you, and I also want to share uh, some of the proposal ideas which are not uh, usually accepted, so that you don't repeat the same proposals in the future uh, calls. One of them we observed is the sanitary napkin uh, dispenser or sanitary napkin incinerator being placed in schools. So th th this is something which uh, uh, is not going through about in the committee for the reason that uh, there is a lot of uh, pollution coming from these incinerators. Uh, so we do not uh, want to create a pollution when we are trying to solve a problem. The other proposal which we are seeing is a smart bill. Uh, definitely this is not acceptable uh, in the committee because uh, there are much bigger problems to solve in the villages. Instead of putting a smart bin, again it needs a lot of, uh, it needs uh, maintenance, it may go defunct. Uh, so these are solutions which we don't need in a rural area. We are here to support you. Let's work together to take Swachh Bharat mission to every village in India.